Chapter Two, Soup for Supper. At last, the farmer's wife got tired of stirring the soup. It must be ready now, she said. I am so hungry, and it smells so good. The man stood up. It is almost ready, he said. The soup stone has done a good job, but a delicious soup like this needs some chicken. You are right," said the farmer's wife. "But the chickens are out in the chicken coop. It is so cold outside. I do not want to go out." The man shook his head. "Oh dear," he said, "the soup stone will not work if you are lazy." You must get a chicken. You can get it," said the farmer's wife. "Oh no," said the man. "I must stay and watch the soup stone, or the magic will not work." The farmer's wife put on her coat. She opened the door. Outside, outside, it was dark. And very cold, but she did not want the soup stone to stop working. So she went out to get a chicken for the pot. Soon, she came back with a chicken. She pulled all the feathers off and put it in the pot. Magic soup stone, make some soup," she said. "You must stir it," said the man. "Stir and stir and do not stop." The farmer's wife stirred the soup. After a while, the chicken was cooked. A delicious smell filled the room. "It must be ready now," she said. The man tasted the soup. Yes, it is ready. Set the table. The farmer's wife found some bowls and spoons. She put them on the table. The man sat down and waited, waited for her to serve him. The farmer's wife. Put some of the soup into the bowls. It was full of carrots, beans, potatoes, and butter. Big pieces of chicken floated in the soup. It tasted hot and salty. It was the best soup the farmer's wife had ever tasted. There was even some left over for her husband. The soup stone is really magic," she gasped. "May I keep it?" "I am sorry," said the man. "I need it. There is no other stone like this in the world." The pot was empty now. Only the stone was at the bottom of it. The man lifted the stone out of the pot and licked it clean. He did not look hungry anymore. Any more? Any more? Please come again tomorrow night," begged the farmer's wife. Come for supper every every night. With your magic soup stone, we will never go hungry again. The man smiled and licked his lips. Thank you, he said. I will do that. The farmer's wife watched as the man walked away. 
The farmyard was full of stones that looked just like the magic soup stone. When the farmer came back, he was hungry. What is for supper? he asked. It smells delicious. Soup, said the farmer's wife. A magic soup stone made it. She told her husband all about the man and his stone. The farmer, the farmer began to laugh. He laughed and laughed. The stone was not magic, he said. The soup tastes so good because it is full of chicken. There is salt and butter in it. There are carrots, beans, and potatoes in it. The farmer's wife began to laugh too. It was a trick, she said. I am such a fool. Never mind, said her husband. The soup was delicious and the man is not hungry now. That's right, said the farmer's wife, and neither are we.